Hello again, and welcome back to another video on character stats. This one is going to be fairly short, since our system is already pretty much done, and we only need to make a few final adjustments. To start with, let's make our character stat more programmer friendly, in the sense that we'll allow subclasses to change more things. So let's find all of our private variables and methods, and change them all to protected instead. To do this, I'm using a Visual Studio extension called Mix Edit that allows me to select all instances of a word by pressing Ctrl D repeatedly. And if you've ever used VS Code or Sublime Text, you probably already used something very similar to this, and while this extension tries to emulate that behavior, and it's pretty good, it's not quite as good. Anyway, in addition to this, we also want to add the virtual keyword to all properties and methods. And while this system is pretty cool and all, you may have noticed by now that character stat variables don't show up in the inspector. Fortunately, the fix for this is very easy. Let's go to our character stat class and add the serializable attribute above it. And now that we've done this, there's also another important detail that we must take into account. We need a parameterless constructor for our character stat class that initializes both of the stat modifier collections. Otherwise, we are going to get a null reference exception. We can now check that in Unity, we now have our strength stat showing up on our character class. Other than this, I'd also like to put both of these classes inside our own custom namespace. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to do it for organization reasons. And now that we've added our namespace, we need to go to any script that's making use of any of our two classes and add our newly created namespace, like so. I'd also like to tell you guys that I'm going to be releasing this entire system, with full source code of course, on the Unity Asset Store, for free. It's already been submitted, it's just a matter of a few days to wait for Unity's approval. But if you don't want to wait, you can go to the text version of this tutorial that I've linked in the description and download the two scripts that I've attached to the main post. The Asset Store version will include an example UI that you are seeing right now on screen, but other than that, both versions are exactly the same thing. That's all for now, expect another video soon, covering a few tips on how to use the asset, and see you next time!